And then the third piece is this little top. So by running a blade across the seam, right up there, it's its natural fault line. So really, it just comes off quite easy. Huh. Now in the beginning, this was actually a tradition that was developed by Napoleon, believe it or not. So he was actually best friends with John Moet, who was from Moet and Chandon, over in uh, Epernay in Champagne. So he used to take his troops on their way to battle and cross through Epernay, and then he would stop off at, uh, at the chateau at Moet and Chandon. And he got a little big celebration and gala for all his parties, or all his troops before he went up to war. So he would make his big grand speech, of course, and then he would pull out a bottle and his saber, of course, which was the fighting sword, the weapon of choice at the time. And all his uh, fellow troops would all sort of have a bottle as well, and they would all chop off the top and they would drink. Oh, that's so the story behind, or I guess the tradition behind it, or the superstition behind it, would be that if it was a clean cut, then all was going to be successful for you, you were going to come back from the war. And of course, if the bottle blew up and it was not a safe cut, then drink up and have a good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Enjoy it while you can. Okay? Now, interestingly enough, due to the haste of the Battle of Waterloo, they actually never had a chance to drop off at the Chateau, so there was never actually an official savoring, of course, you know, the Battle of Waterloo. Okay? So without any further ado, I'm going to need your assistance. Okay. So, <laughs> We got a sword. It's a claymore. <laughs> okay, do you got this? It's on record. Thanks, sir. So. Oh, and you have to climb over the stool. <laughs> and you stand on the stool. I'm going to move. <laughs> now we're going to shoot it off. Okay. Make sure the bottle's really cold. Okay? So I've actually had this up all day in ice and water. The bottle has to be really cold. Okay. Are you ready to see it? Thank you. You're going to hold that with your left hand. Okay? Now you're going to take this here, right? Yes. Yeah. And you're going to hold it just about here. Okay. You're going to 45 here. And you're going to do a nice sort of loose wrist. Yeah. You get a little bit of friction. And you hold this up for a little 45 degree. And when you're ready, it's like a, it's like a 10 foot putt. Okay. Okay, you're going to hit it. You want to get right in that joint. Full of friction. Okay. Okay. Now when I take this off, it is now a loaded gun. Uh. Yeah. So like I said, you just get a nice little sort of... You can come back here a little bit, and then you want to hit it square. Right there. Yeah, hard. Okay. Yeah. All right, whenever you're ready. Like how much pressure? Yeah, it's pretty I good. I don't want to do anything well, wrong. Well, you put a good pressure, but like a 15-foot putt. Yeah! <laughs> well done, my dear. Look at that. And that is what you call a perfect cut. <gasps> if you would have been fit for battle in Napoleon's army, I assure you. <laughs> Okay, you guys just get in together there. Just like you've all done there. Cheers. Yeehaw! Good job. <laughs>